Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We go behind the scenes to see how robots are made, as well as an insight into how AI robots are taking over the world of technology. What comes to mind when you hear the word robot? For many people, it's a humanoid metal that moves in poorly coordinated motion and speaks in a comical monotone voice. While that is not completely off, many people remain unfamiliar with the fact that the field of robotics has gone way beyond all that. In a world like ours, where technology is being applied to everything, it's important to catch up with this rapidly growing field. In the 21st century, the use of robots has found its way into almost every sphere of life. In the music industry, there's Michaela, a 19-year-old robot who is a global pop star and one of the most influential people on the internet. And according to Time Magazine, she's not even human. In human services, some service providers already make use of robots to meet the needs of their customers. In the movie industry, there are suggestions to make robotic replicas of certain acting legends to immortalize their talent. Robots are also used in space exploration, as weaponry, and in hospitals for surgeries that require high precision. In agriculture, there's a new species of robots called agrobots. These robots are used in large-scale farming for activities that require high precision, like harvesting fruits and weed farming. These highly intelligent robots are able to carry out their functions through their ability to learn and their visual recognition algorithms. This way, they can tell the fruits apart from the plant stem, and they can accurately decipher what weed to uproot without harming the plants in any way whatsoever. Isn't that interesting? What's even more interesting is that the list of robotic applications goes on and on. While all this talk about robots may seem like something out of a sci-fi movie, it's not that complicated to grasp. In fact, the future of robotics is something called artificial intelligence, which you already use every day. Your iPhone Siri or Google Assistant on your Android device are examples of artificial intelligence. Modern-day robotic engineers have managed to combine robotics with AI to create near-perfect robots, which are referred to as artificially intelligent robots. Now that we've discussed everything about the abilities of artificial intelligent robots, let's talk about how they're made. The first step in creating a robot is the physical design. For the body, the most common metal used is steel, cast iron, and aluminum. However, titanium and structural composites of carbon fibers are also used in many cases, even though they cost a lot more. Other components used for the physical design of an AI robot include the sensors, electronics, and wiring. When building the body of the robot, the following factors are put into consideration. The job to be performed, speed and environment of operation, hazardous materials involved, how far the robot will be able to reach, the nature of the robot's path, whether concrete floor, tiled floor, or muddy floors, level of human involvement, and the result of failures. The different parts of the robots are welded individually at different stations, and they are assembled as the process continues. Before other parts are assembled, the robot's frame is produced first. This frame is made with heavy metal to ensure the robot's stability, thus preventing it from tipping over and causing harm. Next, the base is transported along a conveyor, which carries it from station to station, where different teams of engineers attach the different components. These include batteries, wirings, arms, legs, wheels or skids, sensors, etc. In total, an AI robot can consist of as high as 2,000 components. One of the most important factors considered during the assembly of a robot is its locomotion. Simply put, this takes into consideration how the robot can move around within its environment. There are three locomotion options, and these include the use of legs, wheels, or skids. The legged locomotion option involves the robot being built with more power because walking, running, jumping, and other leg movements require more power than the other options. The issue with legs, however, is that a legged robot is very unstable, so it's not as practical as the others. Wheeled AI robots are pretty popular because of their practicality. They require less power to function, fewer motors are required to make movement possible, and the more wheels they have, the more power efficient they are. The final option, which is skid locomotion, is the most stable of all three due to the large surface area of the ground. For this type, the robots use tracks like armor tanks to move from one point to another. So, depending on the type of robot being manufactured, 
Any of these three locomotion options are attached to the robot's frame. After the parts have been assembled, some robots are left as bare metal humanoids. Some others are painted and designed with a little bit of color. Some high-end ones are covered in processed silicon, which makes them very similar to humans. Their heads are also covered with wigs. However, these kinds of robots are more advanced than regular AI robots, not just physically but also in terms of software. When the assembly is over, the robots are out through hazard check to see how much damage would occur if a robot goes haywire. The robots are also subjected to a different degree of force to see how much external physical danger they can withstand. Physical checks also involve checking the range of the robot's motion, as well as the coordination of its movements. After physical checks and all design problems have been resolved, the robots are put through functional checks. Some robots are selected, and they're programmed with artificial intelligence. Next, they're placed in operation continuously for several hours. Leaving the robot in operation for that long serves two functions. First, it warms up the electronic components of the robots to optimum temperature. Besides, a warm machine allows the programmer to place the correction factors into the program to enhance the optimum performance of the robot. The next reason for leaving the robot in operation for so long is to monitor its accuracy and see whether it becomes less accurate as time passes or continues to function optimally. The robot's intelligence is also checked, as well as the precision with which it carries out its designated instructions. After the software has been tested, as well as the performance of the robots, they are transported from the factory to the customers. The artificial intelligence program is transported along with the robots, and they are installed at the user's location. At the location, the robot's machine learning and deep learning characteristics are initiated. Therefore, they also learn to navigate their environment. Using inbuilt sensors, the robots can find their way around without bumping into a person, wall, or any other kind of obstruction. Apart from perceiving them, AI robots can also manipulate these obstructions by picking them up, shoving them out of the way, or destroying them, depending on the object's worth, which the robots can detect. As aforementioned, robots have gone beyond having square bodies and inhuman voices to being able to hold intelligent conversations, solve problems, and make choices thanks to their well-developed artificial brain. Although these robots sound independent and self-sufficient in terms of intelligence, it doesn't mean that they do not need to be controlled by humans. While these robots can acquire knowledge by themselves, they can also carry out activities that are against their basic programming, installed by robotics engineers. AI robots are an amazing invention, and within the next few decades, they'll be launched into the world on a much larger scale. What do you think about AI robots? Leave your answers in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for new videos.